Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Collins Prepper, and for the last week and a half I've been using this ICOM ID51 Alpha D-Star handheld radio to work the newest amateur radio satellite, the Fox 1A satellite, also called AO85. It's an FM CubeSat. It was launched in October 2015. It's a LEO satellite, or a low Earth orbit satellite, so the satellite's going to give you passes anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your look angle on the satellite. It'll come up over the horizon. You'll have some time on the satellite and it'll disappear. It takes around 98 minutes for the satellite to do one orbit around the Earth. So the satellite passes incrementally move across the face of the Earth. So you may have a couple of passes and then have to wait six hours for another pass. But I have the radio here on the bench to show you how I set up the channel configuration. And I've been very successful this week actually having QSOs. ICOM does things a little bit differently with their radios. You can't program a channel with a VHF receive frequency and a UHF transmit frequency, but you can use the dual watch feature to work the AO85 satellite, and that's what I have configured here. In the main VFO, I have AO85 and channel 1. I actually have five channels programmed to accommodate for the Doppler effect, and in the dual watch mode, the BVFO is set for the downlink or the receive frequency of that satellite. So when you're transmitting up to the satellite, you're going up UHF, 435, 160, and that incrementally increases for Doppler. And then you're listening on 145, 980. So let's say we have a satellite pass that's coming directly at us. Not past us further away, but actually coming right up. It's going to go right up over your house where the Doppler effect is going to be most pronounced. So as the satellite comes across the horizon, you're going to incrementally rotate your channel knob and you'll see the frequency increase 5kc with each channel change. So as the satellite's coming up over the horizon, you've got access to it. Let's say you're on a 45 degree angle, you're going to increase it one step. I have AO852 and that increases the frequency to 435.165. When it's directly overhead, I'll increase it to AO85 channel 3, 435.170. As it's beginning to pass me and move away from me, the frequency still goes up. I have AO854, 435, 175. And just before the satellite disappears over the horizon, I've changed that 5kc more to 435, 180, and then the satellite disappears. So we're transmitting up in the UHF mode, but we have to be able to receive the satellite. The signal out of the satellite is too weak to break the squelch on the radio. So what I do is I'll push the main button and make the BVFO the main. I'll hold the key on the side of the radio and open the squelch. So now the squelch is open. Now I'm going to turn the volume down for the purposes of the video. But you want to leave this volume up while you're working the satellite so you can hear all the stations on it. Now that the squelch is open, we're going to press the main button again and make the AVFO the main. And now we're ready for our satellite pass. Again, so as the satellite starts to show up, we're going to turn our volume up. We're in dual watch mode, so we're actually receiving the 145.980 here. And as the satellite's coming closer, we're going to incrementally step through the pass until the satellite's gone. Now I'm going to roll over to a PowerPoint presentation and try to show you some pictures I made of how this works. And then I'll take this outside and show you the antenna I used. And then I'm going to close this video out with a recording that I have of a QSO I worked this weekend at the retreat location with the station in Maine. They actually recorded me on the satellite communicating with them. Okay, in this first slide I'm showing an enlarged picture of the satellite. This is not exactly the FOX-1 satellite, but it's a similar configuration. You have a 70 centimeter antenna or UHF antenna. That's what you're transmitting to from the ground. And on the other side of the satellite you have a 2 meter VHF antenna and that's the downlink from the satellite which you're hearing. So the satellite's transmitting down to the Earth in the 2 meter band and you're transmitting up in the 70 centimeter band. So as the satellite's working through its orbit, the satellite's also rolling. So that's going to change the orientation of the antenna and you'll see that in the next slide. And this becomes important later when you're holding the handheld antenna in your hand. You're going to want to adjust that antenna left or right to accommodate this change in antenna orientation with reference to Earth. In the next slide, we see here a satellite. It's about to come over the horizon. We're going to simulate work in this satellite. I have two stations in the northeastern United States kind of simulating the recording. I'm going to play for you later. I was in West Virginia. The other station was in Maine. The satellite's coming towards us. As you can see, it's rolling, so the orientation of that antenna is changing. 
It's coming up in the horizon. We're using our tracking software. We know this pass is coming. So we're going to go ahead and point our antennas at the satellite and start transmitting into that satellite. So again, I'll transmit up from my location in West Virginia, 435-160, into that satellite. Because the satellite's coming at me, I'm addressing the Doppler effect. Now as I'm transmitting into the satellite, the satellite's transmitting down in VHF. It's actually just a repeater, so that station in Maine was able to hear me. And then they were able to communicate with me in reverse. The satellite continues to pass, but you'll notice I changed my channel here to the channel 2 mode. Now I'm transmitting 435-165. The pass continues. Of course, we're changing the direction of the antennas to follow the satellite. Now I'm transmitting 435-170. Now the satellite's moving away from me, so to accommodate for Doppler effect, I'm transmitting up 435-175. The satellite is now getting ready to disappear on the other side of the horizon, moving far away from me. And now I'm transmitting up 435-180, and that allowed us to have our QSL. Okay, I have my iPhone here with the tracking software open. It's called Handsat. I got it from the iTunes store, but there's Android versions. I usually point the north reference towards north so I can follow the the pass of the satellite. The handheld radio has a BNC adapter which connects to the antenna. I have it ready on AO85, the first channel, with the 435-160 uplink for the Doppler effect. And in dual watch mode, I'm listening on 145-980. Now when actually working the satellite, you want to turn that volume up so you can hear that static. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to turn it down because we're not actually going to work a satellite. Over here we have the antenna we're using. Now, I painted this with the camo paint. This actually has purple elements. This is the Arrow 2 antenna and I'll put links down below. These longer elements, that's the VHF side of this antenna. And these shorter elements, that's the UHF side. So we're going to transmit up to the satellite on UHF and listen on the downlink side on VHF. Now when you're getting ready to operate, you've got your volume turned up so you can hear it. you got one finger up here so you can work that channel knob to accommodate for the Doppler effect as the satellite's coming up over the horizon. And you're going to hold this antenna out with your arm using your tracking software on your mobile device. And as that satellite comes up, you'll be able to hear static increase and decrease as you point the antenna at it. It's a very high gain antenna. Now in the slideshow I talked about the orientation of the antenna on the satellite changing because the satellite's rolling. To adjust for that, you want to rotate your wrist. And again, you'll hear the static come and go and it'll walk up and get clear and you'll know what's right. You'll hear it with your ear and you're going to follow that satellite completely through its pass and that's how you work an amateur radio satellite and as you're following that pass you're increasing the channel on the handheld radio to accommodate for the Doppler effect. Now with the magic of editing I'm going to insert two screenshots from the tracking software to give you an idea what you're going to be looking at and then I'm going to insert the recording of the QSO I had this weekend from the retreat location where I was using this handheld and this antenna from West Virginia and talked to a station in Maine with only 5 watts. So, as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with an introduction to working FM amateur radio satellites with your ICOM ID51 Alpha handheld radio. And now we'll roll over to that recording. Thanks for watching, guys. FM09 station, Kilo Bravo 1, Yankee Bravo, Sierra Fox, November 43. Yeah, QSL on the West Virginia, K1DOS, KB1YBS, FN43, Fox November 43. Confirm, YBS. Yeah, confirmed. Acknowledge, Yankee, Bravo, Sierra. QSL, 73. 73. That's true. Jesus.